everyone hello and welcome to another video from Thailand I'm in Thailand Pattaya so I arrived here a few days ago and unfortunately I couldn't make any videos except one night that I was just chilling by the pool and the reason it was because I have a cold so I'm staying at Kosi Hotel. Just I'm going to show you guys briefly my hotel because I really love this hotel. And every time that I'm coming back to this hotel, and I get a little bit more surprised because the level of service is just keep going up, and I really love it. So let me just show you guys if you haven't been to this hotel or if you are interested to know. I have a nice swimming pool which I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys, and it's really nice, comfortable bed really really comfortable bed and another thing is that it's just really like uh when i returned from um, um bandong like indonesia because i spent there 20 days i was staying in one hotel it was nice but one of the for example things that was missing plug i had only one plug but you see guys i have a plug i have a usb in this hotel and uh, i have a nice tv here as I said, really I like this hotel because even my room has a fresh paint. So that's really, that's really, really nice. The level of service keep going up. There is a central air conditioning. Air conditioning is really nice. And that's why I got the cold. Like the air conditioning is really working very well. So you see like on both sides of the bed, I have a plug, I have a USB. Maybe you're going to say, well, that's just the basic things, but trust me. If you travel in Southeast Asia, a lot of hotels, they have only plugs and only one. Sometimes even they don't have on both sides of the bed. But you see here, guys, I have a USB, I have a plug. So sometimes it's just like if you have a lot of gadgets like camera and then cell phone and, and iPad and everything else and YouTube, sorry, and then, um, you know, iPad and then, your, your uh, laptop and everything else sometimes like you need all this because if you have only one plug like it's gonna be pain in the ass so I have the safety deposit box which is really nice again and I have a fridge here which uh, really I was surprised in Indonesia this is not my first time in Indonesia but most of the hotel in Indonesia they don't have a fridge and be honest with you, you need that. You know, like you want to cold something in your fridge, you buy something, maybe you buy some fresh fruits or whatever, you need it. So it is a really nice hotel. I really, really like this hotel. That's why I keep coming back. This is a few times that I stayed here. So it's nice and clean. Water pressure is fantastic, fantastic. The towels, even I'm seeing, this time when I return, all the towels is brand new, so which is really nice. I really like it. Uh, they keep buying stuff because some of the hotel, for example, you know, this is like three years. Sometimes you go to some of the hotel and the towels are black. The white towel is just turning to black because they don't. They, they, they keep washing it and they don't changing it and then you know, like, anyways. But you know, good hotel. Uh, you know does this kind of stuff to buy brand new towels so my towels is just every day that I'm getting fresh brand new towels it just like really feels good you know so as I said and another future in this hotel guys again because I was suffering with the internet in some of the hotels but the internet here is just super fast regardless where you are if you are sitting downstairs I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and she so show you the swimming pool and everything else so regardless where you are in my room outside in the lobby in the gym in the swimming pool they're super fast and trust me for somebody like me that i need to upload video roughly 45 minutes video or whatever in some cases like i had really difficult time in some of the hotels but here is it's just like matter of few seconds boom 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 uh I can upload the video so this is my room guys I'm really happy I'm gonna probably extend my stay again here so far I'm here for past like how many days three days these are five days but probably I booked hotel this hotel for ten days probably I'm gonna extend it because I'm really comfortable 
I'm here. I'm here in Thailand for a while. I usually like it. I got two months notice on arrival. A uh, two months visa. Sorry, two months visa. Uh, I have a cold and seriously, like I cannot talk even. But I'm gonna make a video anyways. So <clears throat> I have two months no two months uh, visa on arrival. This is a new new uh, Thailand. A visa policy for Canadian and US and a lot of other countries that we used to get one month but now is a two months which is fantastic and probably I'm gonna extend it again for one month so pretty much I'm gonna be here in Thailand for three months for now I'm in Pattaya but I'm gonna explore more I'm gonna see different places in Thailand I'm gonna make my decision very soon where is the my next destination but for now I'm in Pattaya I really like here. I really, there's a really bad, uh, bad review about Pattaya, but I don't understand why. Because again, depends on where you stay. Be honest with you, there is absolutely no way that I stay in Central Pattaya or, you know, Beach Road or whatever. Because it's just different type of tourism there, which is not me. But in this part, guys, it's just clean. It is like. There is no, you know, those night stuff that happening in Thailand. So it is very, very peaceful. It is, it is really, really safe. And that's, that's a North Pattaya. So, uh, as I said, yeah, I totally understand. Usually I go for a walk in Central Pattaya and the beach road. There is absolutely no way that I stay there. So this is my favorite pretty much spot here there is a lot of russians here so when i walk outside there is russian everywhere pretty much and my hotel is very quiet it was a huge chinese um tourism here in in my hotel but most of them gone now it's very quiet so it's just a few tourists uh, mostly russian as i said and when I go to the mall, which I'm gonna take you guys today to Terminal 21, there's a lot of Chinese tourism here. There's a lot of uh, Chinese, Indian, and Russian. So it's the mo mainly what I see on the street, either Russian, Indian, or Chinese. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go and have a lunch. I'm gonna go for a walk. And then hopefully, uh, uh, first I'm gonna show you the hotel because I really enjoy this hotel. It just makes me really feel good. Like I get up in the morning and I, I have a really good positive uh, vibe and good positive, uh, you know, experience every day. The bed is co comfortable, the, the swimming pool is nice, the gym is there, and then the air conditioning working. And the most important thing is internet and daily cleaning and it's fantastic you know i have a fridge like i can buy drink or fresh food or whatever to put it there and those things guys is just really important because sometimes as i said you know some of the hotels they don't have it they don't have it you know like mostly in thailand most of the hotel that i stayed they had a fridge but for example in indonesia no in philippines no and regardless like this is the, the fee that i'm paying here is pretty much a little bit even less than what I was paying in Indonesia. So, but oh, you have all these things, you know, you have a nice swimming pool, you have, you know, fridge and everything else. So anyways, as I said, like, the thing is like, sometimes you don't feel, you know, what is like, you don't even consider, you know, that's a really good benefit to have a plug and USB and fast internet, but be honest with you, I had few problems in some of the hotels, so that's why I really cherish that. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna go downstairs. Just I wanna show you guys, I have a really sea view from here too, between those two buildings. And this building, one of them, I don't know, it is a hotel or condominium, but one of them is under renovation. So there's a major, all these guys that you see with the motorbike and all these places is just for the renovation of that building. So this one is, Seems to me people occupied, so I don't know if, uh, again, hotel or condominium, but this one is under renovation, which is very good. I guess it's an old building, but it's a nice building. So they're doing a major renovation from top to bottom. 
so there's nobody living there so I I believe they ask everybody to leave or maybe he's a new owner but I'm assuming this is a hotel again I have no idea but they're doing a major renovation guys from one building probably they're gonna do the renovation on this building and then they're gonna move to the next one so this is fantastic that I see that I really like that for example in this building in this hotel too like I can't see fresh paint like I can't feel it it's just fresh fresh paint because there is there is absolutely clean and and that's really really I love it I really love it guys like for somebody like me that living in the hotel for past three years so this is my life now you know like this is my home hotels are my home now so when I stay nice and clean trust me like makes me feel really 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 comfortable anyways guys so let's go out and let's see what is going on today so guys I'm just heading downstairs I'm going to show you guys the pool and the swimming pool and I really uh, sorry swimming pool and the gym and, and the lobby it is really nice and clean I really love it okay guys there's a, also it is very convenient hotel because I have even here washer and dryer so I don't need to go outside and do the laundry so which is really really nice see guys there's a two washer two dryers it is very convenient There's a pool table here. I'm gonna show you guys the gym. Mm. And this is the gym. It is a small but it is very convenient. And the main thing is that it is clean, always clean. Oops. I can get out from here. I spend a lot of time here guys in the swimming pool. I really like it. Yesterday I was here by the pool all day. So they have an event on Friday and Saturday night. So I really like the hotel. That's why I keep coming back, guys. It's a lobby, simple lobby, but it's beautiful. There's a lot of seating going on here. There's a lot of chairs and tables. That's it, guys. It is a really beautiful hotel here. So I'm just gonna go for a walk guys. It's not gonna be a very long video, but just I wanna show you guys around my hotel. Wow, 
one thing that you, you're going to see everywhere in Thailand massage places and the wheat shop there is a lot of them My hotel is very close to Terminal 21, one of the mall here, and really convenient if you want to go shop or do something. Uh, so that's why, guys, I'm keep coming back to this hotel, and I love it. Anyways, let's go for a walk. You see, guys, there is a huge Russian community here. You see. All the signs here in this street is Russian. There's a Russian restaurant here. As I said, like everywhere is Russian. There's a restaurant here. I never been here. It seems to me they have all barbecues and everything. There's few sushi places here. And there is a car that this guy, owner of this restaurant, I guess, uh, shipped that car all the way from Russia to here. I'll show you guys. Everybody comes in and takes picture of this car. Because I believe it's an old Russian car. See another restaurant here, cafe. As I said, there's a lot of restaurant and cafe on this street. But let me show you guys this car. Look at it, this is the restaurant. And I guess owned by Russians and this is the car unbelievable there's an old old Russian car <laughs> that's so cute Look at the plate. Yeah. Russian plate. Yeah, I, I am assuming that the guy that was just came in, he's the owner. Uh, obviously, he looks Russian. He's Russian. Uh, but the, the, the strange part of it was that car that he shipped all the way from Russia to here. There is few private villa here. You guys can see that. This is really lovely and nice.
see there's a lot of restaurants and a lot of massage places. Hello. And there's a new supermarket. Uh, when I was here last time, it was under construction, but now it's finished. And it's really nice. A lot of drinks, a lot of everything. It is a gigantic supermarket called Best Supermarket. And so far, I came to this supermarket a few times and I really love it because you can get anything you want. There's a lot of, lot of everything. It is a big supermarket, it's not like 7-Eleven. And they have a good collection of alcohol, they have all kinds. So usually during the day, it is not busy because obviously it's very hot, so people won't come outside. But usually in the evening, it gets a little bit more busy. There's a lot of bars here. And also, if you want to shop with your credit card, because if you go to 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven demanding minimum 200 baht. But top daily, tops daily, guys, there is no minimum. You can purchase anything with your credit card. So to me, it's just much, much better option. And since they had this uh, policy change from 7-Eleven that you need to purchase 200 baht, Usually I don't shop too much there because you got to keep paying cash and these days nobody has a cash in their pocket, you know. So all these bars and everything, restaurants gets busy at night. In the evening, obviously. Now is everybody by the pool chilling. I want to go to Terminal 21. On the top floor, uh, there's a restaurant it's called Terminal 21, I guess, restaurants. So the price is very reasonable, guys, and you have a lot of options. So I'm going to go eat there. And then, as I said, today's video is not going to be too long because, to be honest with you, I don't feel good. So I want to just go back to my room and rest. There's a Remax office there too. I have my real estate license in Canada, so in one point I was registered with Remax, but not anymore. nice bar and there is few other one next to each other but now unfortunately it's closed definitely I'm gonna come out one night and show you guys the nightlife there's few bars right there cross street but there is few streets here that you go and then all is a bar and club and uh, this kind of stuff I'm not talking about walking street there is few other ones then hopefully, still I'm here, I'm going to show you guys. 
But let me feel a little bit better soon and then. This is a new hotel and I'm sure it is very expensive. Yeah, some of the hotel here is just unbelievable expensive, guys. I saw this one. I don't remember the, what is the name of this hotel. Right there, you see, guys? It was like for seven nights. Seven nights or five nights. Whatever, I was just pricing. I guess it was like around twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. So, I'm assuming that there's a lot of rich people coming here, too. To vacation. Yeah, this is another new hotel, guys. So this is the type of hotel that you spend the minimum, minimum hundred, hundred fifty dollars a night, maybe more, maybe two hundred. And this is another hotel that, right there, again, you're looking for above two hundred, yeah, around two hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a night. Again, depends. Now it's off season. Imagine that. Now it's. No tourists. So when it's high season, probably you're looking for three hundred thousand night. I don't know. I never had that opportunity to you know, stay in one of those hotels. But I'm sure it's three three hundred fifty dollars. And there's few of them around here. thing that I really love about Thailand that's the freedom that you have completely you are free whatever you want to do but just make sure be respectable respectable with their culture respectable for everything else but the freedom that you have in Thailand you don't have it anywhere else anywhere else like mentally you are free like nobody everybody in their own business nobody is just like Nobody looking at you, nobody just, like everybody in their own business. But the amount of freedom that you have is just unbelievable. There's few very expensive hotel again, right there next to Terminal 21. So, if you planning to stay there, it is very close to the beach, few minutes walk. But again, you have to budget yourself minimum of, I don't know, again, $150 or $200 a night, as far as I know. Right there. All of them very close to the beach. If you walk through this road, guys, like after two minutes, I'm at the beach. You see, my location is fantastic. It's not crowded area, with a lot of bad tourism that come in here. I don't like that. I don't like to stay in that part. But in the meantime, I have, you know, easy walk to everywhere. I don't need to get even public transportation. So that's a Terminal 21, one of the mall here. And again, there's another hotel above that. As you can see, there's a lot of Chinese tourism here. You see all of them, they have an umbrella. Because they don't want to get sun. If they get sun, they lose their wealth. That's the that's the way the Chinese things. You see, all of them have an umbrella. Absolutely no sun for them. To me, it's very strange. Why you are on vacation if you don't want a sun? So strange. Because they start screaming, like they speak very loud, 
you know, compared to other Asian people. Even in my hotel, it was a bunch of guys, all like 50 years old or whatever. I'm sure they, 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 they came here for, you know, sex tourism because all night, these guys was drinking in the, in, in the lobby and then like 12.30, 1 o'clock, they used to go out. And that's the, that's the time that means like, obviously you're going for, you know, those strip clubs or whatever. So, you see this guy just doesn't have a respect. No, this one no. Yeah, so yeah. And this guy was sitting in the lobby and screaming, screaming. Like I had to go and tell the receptionist to, to, to tell them to shut the fuck up because there is more than 40 pe people sitting in there, you know, and everybody there to enjoy their vacation. Why are these Chinese people screaming? I don't get it. And as soon as I went and I told that receptionist, can you please tell these Chinese people to be quiet? There is, you know, 20, 30 other people that sit in here and quiet and everybody doing their own business. The guy starts shaking his head and he said, I know, I know, I know. Like, why are you screaming when you're talking? Chinese people, why are you screaming? Can you talk normal? Because people around you are affected with your mentality. some sort of event going on but Chinese people are screaming for no reason like if you go to the mall you see the wife and husband talking to each other screaming ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it man oh, there's more of them Seriously, there's something going on with this Chinese, with the Indians. There is some sort of Hindu event, Indians.
windows. The guy was talking to himself. Pata is a lovely place, but you see a lot of weirdos. A lot of weirdos, man. This is the people that came here, foreigners. They lost everything in their life. So pretty much here is struggling, struggling. And they lose their mind, drinking all day long, smoking weed. So there's a lot of them you see here. Take picture with the I love Pattaya here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi guys, so this is time we are 21. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside to eat something. So we're going to top floor. Yeah, there is a lot of weirdos here, man. The guy was came next to me. I guess he looks like, you know, Australian, I guess. He was talking to himself, wah, wah, wah. He was doing like this. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you won't, you, you, you can see a lot of these kind of people here. Transfer for London, Terminal 21 Pattaya. So I'm going to the top floor, guys. I'll show you this restaurant. It is very, price is very reasonable, seriously. And the food is good based on what you get. is really good. Obviously now it's very quiet because 11 o'clock. And it is Monday, so people back to work. I gotta take another elevator again to the top floor, another floor. at this bridge with all the sports car see guys there's a lot of restaurants here
see guys it says pier 21 we're going there if you want a really good food and reasonable price i don't mean it's a top top quality but the price is very good hello so you gotta buy the card so whatever amount that you need they upload it to the card so everywhere that you go to shop you just tap your card that's it Right here. So there's all kind of food. Let's see what we're gonna get this time. Beans and tofu, vegetables. Guys, I got my food. A little bit of some vegetable and chicken and beans and some, I guess, uh, spinach, rice and eggs. So the whole things cost me 30, 49 baht. So 49 baht is just roughly two dollars Canadian. But it's good. I really like it. So you load as much as you want in this car. So I put only 100 baht. And then you can buy whatever you want. So you just tap, and then that's it. And when you finish, if there's any extra money on it, if you're gonna return here, just keep it. But if not, you can give them back and then you get your money back. But there's no fee for a car. I'm getting some roti now. Usually I get this one. This is my favorite one. It's spinach and cheese. Usually it takes a little bit of time, but you know, worth it.
Okay, that's something else too, these roti things. I hope you guys can see it. So it is a spinach and cheese, but obviously it, you, you, you need to be very patient because they are very busy. And obviously make it one by one. So, but it, it is really delicious. I really like it. what they have. Chinese or whatever and the other ones I didn't like it pretty much but definitely I want to watch the movie one day soon Subway I had a lot of Subway when I was in uh, Jakarta few days that I was in Jakarta I was just having Subway every day pretty much You see guys, there's a lot of restaurants here. There's even Italian pizza here. <clears throat> I really want to have an ice cream, but I can't because if I have an ice cream, I'm going to get even worse than what I am right now. Oh, hopefully by tomorrow, I'm 100% okay. <clears throat> Because air conditioning in my room it just works crazy. It is a central air conditioning and it's really really powerful. Today, pretty much, I'm picking on Chinese people. But two Chinese girl and one guy was sitting and eating in front of me. Guys, like their mouth is completely open and chewing everything and making a lot of noises when they eat it. That's not nice. Really, that's not nice. You don't eat like that. What kind of eating is this? I, I don't get it, man. Like, I had to leave. I, I, I just finished that uh, spinach and cheese roti and I had to go because like everything was coming out from my you know stomach like the chewing like this a lot, lot of noise like, who eats like this I don't get it even when I was in Canada I had a lot of co-worker Chinese as soon as these people in the lunch room I was walking away I, I couldn't, I can't. I, I can't understand somebody eats like that from me. I can't. 
you, 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 you need to have a manner, man. Like, you, your mouth needs to be closed. You cannot eat like... What kind of eating is this? I'm making a lot of noises and like... And he's a female, young girl. Like, how are you going to have a future in your life when you, you don't have a basic manner in life? But that's the culture, you know, that's the way. I, I don't get it, man. If I was eating like that for my parents, probably they kicked me out of the house. Seriously. There's a lot of food. One thing that you gotta know in Thailand, always the food. Always the food. And the food is delicious, yummy. So for example, I had that Spanish roti and I had that rice with the three different type of a chicken and vegetable and whatever. The total cost was less four dollars guys, four dollars. Four dollars Canadian. So probably three dollars US. Yes, since I don't have no businesses here. Wow, yesterday here it was so busy but now it's empty. Look at it, there's a lot of condominiums coming up here. And all of them pretty much built with Russian. Russian! I guess you can buy a ticket with this guys and then you just pop in, pop off. You know, you can go and see places. Which I don't inter I'm not interested. Yeah, there is a lot of condominium builders now, Russian condominium builders. Oh Jesus Christ. What is happening here? A anyway that Russian and China is China go, then you know there's something fishy going on. What we gonna do next? What we gonna do next? It is sunny and beautiful, beautiful. Yesterday was rainy, but today is good. Oh, seriously, I, again, I'm start shopping, man. I'm gonna be in trouble soon again when I'm traveling. But I got the big luggage, guys. I bought the finally. I bought bought my luggage. I have a good news. For those guys that following me and they know I'm a struggle. I was struggling with one of my backpack because what happened was usually I have to pay extra fees for overweight luggage because 20 kg and usually I'm on 25. So always I was putting everything on my small backpack. And since I'm keep buying this and that, so I was looking for a backpack in Indonesia, in Bandung. I find one, but I was in trouble to pay with the credit card there is a big issue with paying tap credit card in indonesia so usually they accept their own type of tap which is the barcode they scan on the phone but i don't have that i don't have a bank account there so usually i had to pay with my uh apple pay but it was a big problem with that so i couldn't buy but when i came here uh i bought it oh i give you another news guys I don't know if you know or not, in Indonesia, if your bank card or credit card has more than six digit password, you won't be able to withdraw money from the bank, from ATM machine. Even if you go to the bank, they won't accept it. But in Thailand, it doesn't matter how many digits you have. I guess up to 10 is okay because mine is above six digit and I withdraw the money without no issue whatsoever. And be honest with you, with paying with the tap here, with the Apple Pay, absolutely no issue here in Thailand. So this is another side of the, uh, what is that? Another side of uh, Terminal 21. So there's a Terminal 21 in Bangkok as well. 
Hello. Okay, let's go to my favorite store and then I'm heading back because it's really hot and I need to rest. But I want to show you guys, maybe I'm going to buy a t-shirt. seriously like seriously like I never ever saw anybody you know in, like I don't need that restaurant up there maybe more than I don't know right now 200 people or 100 people I don't know I didn't see anybody eating making a lot of noises except Chinese like why are you eating like this in public seriously first don't scream on the public when you are somewhere that people around you, nobody wants to hear your loud noises when you're talking to other people. Just calm down. Number two, when you are in the public, just eat like normal. This is not the way that you should eat. This is not normal way of eating, man. Beautiful Pattaya, beautiful, beautiful Thailand, beautiful Pattaya. I really love Thailand. Like, as I said, when you feel like free, 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 safe, and free, heaven and earth, that's why it's the number one destination. That's why. It is the number one destination for tourism, and there is a reason behind it. Because you feel really, really, really good and free. Now obviously you don't struggle, you don't struggle to go to ATM machine with, you know, you have a six digit or eight digit or ten digit. And, you know, you just, life is nice here. You really love this country, man. I love you, Thailand. Guys, it is hot, hot as hell, but it's okay. I want to go to my favorite store. Hello, my friend. Is the government building? Yes, I think so. I don't know where this street ends up. I never walked this street. I don't know where it goes. How far this street goes. I gotta press this and wait hopefully gets green some point. Oh it is green. That's good, it is green. You know one day I'm gonna walk all the way to the end of this street. I wanna know what it is. Okay, let me go to my favorite shop. Maybe when I'm coming back, coming out, I'll walk through this street. Because I never walk through this street. I don't know where it ends. But let's do it. Still, I have a time.
supermarket. This is a local supermarket. It is big. And when I was in Lamai Beach in Kusamui, always I was shopping from here. I mean, same store in Kusamui. My favorite store, guys. Let's see. I bought my backpack even here. I really love it. You can find everything here. I need some protein. Because I want to start exercising, so maybe I'll have to grab one of these. Yeah, because I need to lose weight and I need to start exercising, guys. Just I need to do a little bit of research, which one is which. So this is a 29 gram of protein, this one is 30. Vanilla, they don't have a vanilla one, they, they have only chocolate. Oh, is it? This is the one? No, this is not the vanilla, this is a different one. This. Uh, Oh, this is the vanilla base one, I guess. So this one has a 30 gram of protein. This one has 29. So no brainer, I have to get this one. And it is thousand baht. So this is their own brand. So I don't know how good it is, but I'll do a little bit of research. So if it's good, I'm gonna come back and buy. And I bought this uh, backpack here, guys. I bought this one. It's very spacious and really nice. It's gonna, it's gonna fix my problem. Uh, this is the one that I'm getting guys I have a white one I have a black one and I'm gonna get another black one because it's really really uh, really really nice like especially in this hot weather you know, it's really enjoyable to have one of these tank top I bought the socks I bought my handbag, my backpack here. So let's see what else I'm gonna get. Oh, I don't wear t-shirts. I like tank tops in this hot weather. I have enough t-shirts. You guys you can find everything here I really love it and the price is very reasonable oh this is another one oh this is different style oh, I like the one that I have in my hand it's just much much more com comfortable let me see if I can get some underwear too because underwear here is very com comfortable and the price is very reasonable too See, it is the underwear. No, it is not that way. So you see the underwear here is really good too. I had few and really I'm satisfied. It's 150 baht. But let me see if there is anything else. Let's grab another underwear too. But everything that I have is just blue and black. I want to get something different. Let's see. This blue. What do you guys think? Looks like this blue. Uh, let's let's see.
Okay, since I don't have a green one, I'm gonna get the green one. Right here. Should I get the green one or black one? I have a lot of black, so let's get the green one. Something different. So that's it guys. I'm gonna get one underwear. And one one underwear and one one tank top. That's it. It's good enough for now. I don't need anything else pretty much. Guys, now I'm inside the Lotus supermarket. You see guys, it's gigantic. You can shop everything here. So, by the way, my battery is almost finished. Guys, thank you for watching. Please keep subscribing and definitely more content is coming up. So, cheers guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.